delighted to have been a part of the social media conference this year. You see, social media has become a phenomenon. And um, while back in the day, many a time people used to use social media for casual, informal stuff. Of late, there's lots of serious engagements that happen on social media. People are selling products, their own businesses are being run on social media. And for entities like ourselves, we realize that we can use social media a great deal to have political engagements for people to hold their leaders accountable. You know, one of the challenges we have in Africa especially is that there's a disconnect between leaders and the lead. That the leaders are not held accountable by the people that they lead. And we realize that social media has helped to try and take care of that. That people will get onto social media and ask and say, why is this not being done? You know, tell us about this money that has disappeared, for example, and there'll be a lot of noise about it until the leaders come out. You know, so social media becomes a gateway to that. Because you're not going to go to these leaders' offices, you're not going to find them at their homes, you, you won't find them anywhere. And yet we must hold them accountable because they are holding those positions in our stead. So social media becomes an incredible tool to have these political engagements, governance discussions, you know, sharing and uh, comparing and contrasting ideas. And that's why I call it a phenomenon. What's important for the users of social media is to know how do I find out what the truth is? Where do I go? Which Twitter handle, if it's Twitter, do I go to? For which particular person, entity, or that kind of thing, for me to get the truth? So, those who are worried about fake news, news flash, it's going to keep growing as the usage of social media keeps growing because that, that, that's what happens, you know, with the rise of anything. The ills also rise, yeah? I would not be so worried about fake news in the sense that I should know where to find what's legit. I should not be retweeting fake news, for example. <laughs>